name is Adip Mahmood and I am from onlineoffice.live and uh, now today uh, I am here to assist you regarding the unit management and how we can manage our units so first of all uh, what is the query the query was uh, there is an item Nivea lotion 400 ml and, and he is purchasing in uh, his, uh, his base unit is unit selling in packets also in boxes okay so now uh, and each items also have a separate price okay so how can we manage this first of all we have to uh, add three units unit packet and box okay you go to uh, product units area add a basic unit what is the smallest unit the smallest unit was unit and unit allow decimal no what is the uh, packing unit the packing is uh, unit is packet 6 unt means this packet have 6 units unt no click on add a multiple unit of other unit so one packet 6 unit is equal to 6 base unit okay so the box is of 12 units box 12 unit and the short name is box 12 unit and allow decimal no and i equal this 12 unit okay now the unit is prepared now we add our product okay so we click here we can also uh, click here to add our products and on the POS screen we can also add our product. So our product name is uh, a lotion 400, 400, 400 ml. This is our my product name. Uh, I don't know what was the name is uh, uh, Nivea, Nivea, N I V E A. okay our base unit is here we cannot see our uh, the packing units we can only see the base unit because our product measures in the base unit okay so the sku name is uh, whatever your barcode number of this unit like 8888 it's barcode number and category for example cl alert quantity 2 and go down tax is applying or not applying we can use this later okay first of all we check the things how it is working so our uh, cost is for example 100 and our selling price is 200 so our base uh, base unit price is 200 okay and we have the available quantity for example we have almost 500 pieces almost including packing boxing everything what is total base units are 500 so we save this now look at this here it is when uh, when i refresh this for example and i type my product lotion and it is saying that one base unit 200 you can sell many units for example 10 units you want to sell okay you can type here and for example if you want to sell in packet for example you select at the bottom packet and you uh, and your rate is for example what was your rate your rate was uh, 1180 okay so 1180 double double one one was your rate of packet 6 unit and you can sell for example 3 packet you want to sell okay you can type here and sell okay and if you want to sell in boxes you can also do that you select unit change the rate 2350 and sell unlimited boxes like 10 boxes you want to sell okay 15 boxes 
19 boxes 50 boxes you cannot sell 50 boxes it is saying you only 41.67 box uh, 12 means uh, uh, you don't have enough quantity to sold in a boxes okay it is mean that so uh, i tell you one more thing because uh, it uh, it one second for example if you are purchasing this item you can also purchase in uh, uh, in units packing and boxes okay for example you have lotion item and you want to purchase in boxes and your rate is for example uh, uh, your cost cost is for example uh, 1100 is your cost and you are purchasing 10 pieces okay so your selling price is it is uh, showing you uh, you don't need to change this okay you just simply uh, uh, add 10 boxes here and other more products okay if you want to sell in packet you can just type packets here okay one more option i am telling you you can also manage uh, your packing with your combo items for example i add a combo product first of all i will i will show you how much product units we have of lotion we have total 500 units of lotion okay and uh, i will add a product whose name is lotion packing one multiply by six for example it is my packing of nivea lotion what is the name is okay so it's have own barcode for example this barcode is this okay and it is it is also a unit okay it's base it is uh, you can call it piece you can also call it piece okay so i will show you what is happening and i am not managing a stock because the uh, the lotion stock is measuring in base unit so already are, we are managing the stock so at this time i am not managing this packing stock okay when i sell this that i that item stock will be reduced okay i will tell i will show you okay and uh, 1180 is the sale price and the cost price is 1000 for example and 1180 is the selling price okay so 18 percent margin and just save it okay just save it you go here and refresh now we have a product uh, lotion it will tell you which one the base one or I, this one i will uh, tell my system that i am selecting this one and and i am selling two units like two pieces okay or like three pieces it's mean we are selling total 18 units okay you can also change the price okay whatever so I am selling this. So 18 stock will be reduced from the whole, from the base unit stock. When I refresh this and I will show you here. Lotion. Oh. Uh, I did one mistake one second uh, I lotion packing I delete this because I did not create any combo product okay. now I create
taking 1 multiplied by 6 and this is not managing the stock go down go down and select your your product is a combo product okay and it is a combination of item lotion how much quantity total six quantity okay total six quantity and you are selling this in, in double one eight zero okay double one eight zero you are selling this and just save it okay it is a working now it is true similarly you can also create uh, a, a box combo product okay now uh, i go here and sell one combo product our combo product is one multiply by six lotion item lotion item which one Where is combo product? 1 multiply by 6. Packing. Okay, Nivea packing 1 by 6. Okay, we type here packing this is the item new year packing one by six i am selling total three units okay it's mean we are uh, base unit how much base unit pieces means total 18 pieces we are going to sold okay so when i do cash then i go back and check my base unit stock our base unit is lotion 400 ml So look at this, it is it has been reduced. Okay. And if you if you delete this, if you delete this sale, this one, if you delete this sale, the stock again back. The stock again back. It will again 500. If you delete any invoice, the stock will also go back. 500 Okay. So I hope I answered your question and lotion item you can sell by unit and for packing you can sell also by packing okay for example the customer is asking you uh, he need uh, five units and two boxes okay so so what you will have to do five units from here and two boxes uh, of uh, of packing one by six and two it's mean six plus six plus five it will be sold okay means six six twelve and five seventeen to so seventeen will be sold and refresh our stock Look at this. Now it, it has been true. Okay. You can also purchase this. How you gonna purchase this? Because I told you before, like lotion item, you can purchase like this. 12, uh, you are uh, uh, purchasing in boxes and selling in unit packing in boxes three times. But always purchasing in boxes so you will select here just select here and get your rate what is your cost for example your cost is 1100 okay now you uh, how much boxes you are purchasing you are purchasing 10 boxes so it is the amount
आई होप आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव एनी टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन फील फ्री टू आस्क मी एंड कीप विजिटिंग आवर वेबसाइट ऑनलाइन ऑफिस डॉट लाइव हेयर इज ऑल्सो आर मैनुअल इंस्ट्रक्शन हेयर इन द वेबसाइट This is my contact number. You can also add me on WhatsApp. This is the official email address, and this is the software manuals. Here you can see all the software manuals. Okay. Thank you.